Yes, yes. Today, we're looking at Mage Wars Arena, Battlegrounds, Domination. What does it add? Some new tiles. And what else? Mage Wars Battlegrounds is a new series of expansions for the award-winning Mage Wars Arena game system. Battlegrounds uses modular tiles that allow you to create your own customized battle arena. Tiles have specialized abilities and terrain effects that add exciting new tactics and strategies to the game. Challenge yourself and your friends with hundreds of possible arena designs with variable sizes, shapes, and obstacles. It's still all squares. Let's keep it real. Um, each battle set offers new ways to play Mage Wars with new strategies and new objectives to accomplish. Step into the arena, your arena, and prepare for battle. Domination is the first Mage Wars battleground set. Maybe the only. They might be working on a version 2 of this. Might come to market, I don't know. In this new exciting scenario, players seek to dominate territory and seize control of the Batar orbs scattered across the arena. Control the most the most orbs to operate the Batoric, an ancient artifact of immense power. But be careful, orbs are guarded by malevolent creatures. Uh, Slack and Uslack, including 26 new spells to overcome the hazards in the arena and to defeat your opponent. Check out Seize Control and Dominate. Vitar Orb, Vitar Orb off. One Vitar, three, five points, a taunt, spiked pit, uh, unavoidable and piercing. Four, uh, four combat dice, secret passage. 2015 Arcane Wonders. Yeah, the game's great. Never played this Battlegrounds, but let's check her out. One sheet of markers, 20 modular tiles, one rule book. Yeah, let's get the um, Scotty Cutler. Yeah, um, yeah, now that I'm opening this, might get a gameplay of this. Yeah, I know they've been coming out with um Mage Wars Academy stuff still. I don't think they came up with anything for Arena lately. I don't know. Ain't big old stupid big rule book. Move this here. Yeah. It's chits. Burn. Upkeep, roll one die, zero, remove burn, one and two, take damage. I think that's the same. Spiked pit, Vitar orbs, these four, these three color control things. Guard. And 16 huge tiles with the back on them. I mean, instead of the regular uh, four by four, grit, six by four grid or something are they all the same okay red stuff on this one purple mist and a cloud whatever that means nice smell that's a moss green ooze symbol in the side Cloud and ooze, regular. Got a uh, dinosaur artifact there. Got a pentagram. Not a pentagram, but a triagram. Cultist, burial ground, sacrifice place. Yeah. Uh, fire pit, lava pit. Uh, somebody's rag thrown down. Uh, pit pit, sarlacc pit, maybe. Somebody sword on the ground. Okay, there we go with the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Septagram, maybe. Septagram, that might, I mean, that kind of sounds right. Septagram, I don't know. 
Uh, the ring, the ring battleground. Uh, Fallen Warrior, Spike Pit, uh, Alien Artifact Pit, and another Spike Pit, two Spike Pits. All right, check out these cards. Uh, cool big uh, storage box. I guess you need somewhere to store those tiles. Two stacks of cards. Yeah, I love this game. Um, it's kind of like once you make a spell book, though, you kind of want to leave it alone because you got to get to all those points, 120 points or whatever it is. Crack this open. Okay. Slack, Orb Guardian. Guards the orbs. Creature and Tarion. Haven't seen those before. Uh one point if it's in these classes i think and uh one shield no one armor eight health impelling spines with a instant action quick action and uh does melee damage looks like and uh roll three dice three dice melee piercing plus one i'm sure they get through armor psychic community Slack gains the unmovable and anchor trait while in his own with the Vitar Orb. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, are these the enemies you're fighting against? I don't know, but there's like twelve of them. Signal of Vitar. While in the same zone as a Vitar Orb you control, this creature has the unmovable and anchor trait and gains armor plus two and melee trait while guarding. Yeah, let's read the book a little bit. See what we're actually looking at. Big huge book. Brian Pope. Okay, introduction. Welcome back to the world of Etheria. The world of Mage Wars. Within the Battlegrounds domination expansion, you'll discover entirely new ways to challenge your rivals. Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds is a new series of expansions for the Mage Wars arena. Each Battleground expansion will come with special puzzle cut tiles which can be used to build exciting new arenas for you to conquer. You can create large large arenas which are perfect for multiplayer battles as we have included extended multiplayer rules. These modular tiles are the heart of, of Battlegrounds but there's more. Each Battlegrounds expansion will provide a new scenario, a different way to play and enjoy Mage Wars Arena. Playing a scenario can completely alter the style of the game, creating a new and interesting challenges for veteran mages. Of course, you will still have to protect yourself from your enemy. After all, a dead mage can't claim victory. Uh, domination. In this Battlegrounds expansion, you will find the First battleground scenario, Domination. Domination is a game of territory control with players vying to take control of the mysterious Vitar orbs scattered throughout the arena. Move out, seize control, and dominate. Uh, battlegrounds includes 20 modular tiles, 116 new spell cards, one sheet of die cut markers, these rules. The modular board, terrain, special tiles, nine modular board tiles that are special tiles denoted by special icons. You can use these as normal tiles if you wish but you can create even more exciting battles by using the special abilities of these tiles each tile is treated as a just like a normal zone but it has its own unique effect on the battleground terrain uh you can cast a terrain spell on a zone which already has a terrain in it the new terrain spell cancels out and replaces the old terrain spell effects the special tiles of the battleground also 
all count as terrain and you can cancel their effects by casting a terrain spell on top of them. However, they can't be destroyed or moved. You must follow all the normal rules for overlaying terrain. For the purposes of using terrain rules, these special tiles have a mana cost of zero. If for some reason the terrain that overlays a special tile is removed or destroyed, the original special aspect of the tile functions again. Okay, Alter of Oblivion. If you control this zone, see zone control in the codex page 10 once per round before or after a or after a friendly creature's action phase, you may destroy a creature that you own and control to gain mana equal to its half equal to half its casting cost and one Vitar. See Vitar Orb sidebar on page seven. Use a ready marker to keep track of this ability. The creature you destroy can be anywhere in the zone. It doesn't have to be in the altar of of oblivion zone. Yeah, that's a whole lot of rules. This zone hinders corrosive pull, ethereal mist. Objects in this zone gain the obscure trait placement tip. This is a simple but beneficial zone. It works very well as a centerpiece for the arena, particularly with the Vitar orb in this zone. It, it, if someone wants to make wants to take control of that orb they'll have to get up close and personal okay molten rock hinders as well all right let's look at the vatar orbs multiplayer rules free-for-all in a free-for-all game each mage fights for his own glory a free-for-all game plays much like a standard head-to-head -head mage wars arena duel there are a few things to keep in mind when playing this battle Initiative, instead of passing the initiative back and forth between two players, you'll be passing it clockwise. Action phases, quick cast, action, mage death. Uh, when a mage is destroyed, remove his mage card and all the, object he, the objects he controls from the game. Victory, whatever. Team games. Team games. Okay, if a free-for-all battle isn't what you yearn for you can strike a truce with another mage and fight against your mutual enemies playing a team game involves two or more mages on a side each controlled by a different player but working together as a team spell starting zones initiative pretty sure it's self-explanatory um domination scenario history of the orbs not getting into the lore setting up the game first you'll build the arena for your battle we recommend that you use the path of war at least for the first few games but all of the maps pages 11 through 14 are designed with domination rules in mind of course you could design your own arena to dominate as well set up the tiles shown on the map by placing the Vitar orb slacks and Uslax as indicated so that was a slack with uh, 12 of those slacks so these are just the enemies these are just the these are the NPCs I guess um, slacks and oof slacks. Each maze sets, selects a set of control markers he will use to denote orbs he has control of. If possible, choose a color which matches the color of the action markers you use on your creatures. Then roll for initiative as normal. The player who loses the roll for initiative gets to choose the starting zones for his mage first, with the opponent starting the other. Now the battle can begin. Vitar Orbs and Vitar Energy. All Vitar Orbs begin the game neutral. They're not controlled by any mage and powered off. See the Vitar, see the sidebar of Vitar Orbs. You can change the status of, of a Vitar Orb by touching it with the mage or creature he controls. How do you touch it? Just hit it with the melee attack. See hit on Codex page 10. You'll need to actually deal, you don't need to actually deal any damage to the orb. They can't be destroyed and don't receive damage. Note that you can guard your Vitar orbs as you would a normal conjuration and thus keep enemies from taking control of them. When an orb is touched by your mage or creature they control, it changes control. If the orb was neutral, you now control it. If the controller, if, if it was controlled by another player, it becomes neutral again instead. B remove that player's colored control marker. Orbs begin the game powered off the first blah 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 gaining Vitar energy each round during the upkeep phase you gain one Vitar for each orb you control in addition for for each Vitar you gain your mage may either gain one mana or heal one damage cool this is in addition to any bonus he may have received when he 
first powered on the same orb in a prior turn. Use a Vitar token included with the game to help keep track of how much Vitar your maze has accumulated. Vitar can be spent in the same way as mana. Various game effects can be triggered by spending Vitar, such as using Vitorak to summon Slack. And Vitar can also be collected to fulfill Domination Victory Condition. Although Vitar is similar to mana in many ways, they are not interchangeable. You may not use Vitar to cast normal spells. Cool. Um, some Vitar orbs are protected by Antarians, dark and mysterious creatures created by Dragonkind. These guardians can be Slack or the more powerful Uslak, or sometimes both. They're, they're represented in the game by special spell cards just like other creatures. Um, yeah, okay, different um, variants, Undying Mages, Ley Lines of Power, okay, the Codex, Spell Clarifications, Codex, Hit, Scenario Arenas, the Vitar Orb Marker, Secret Passage Marker, yeah, I'm gonna have to really read through this some more before I, before I, I actually try to attempt to take game. But yeah, that looks cool. Alternative mana. Let's look through these cards again. Yeah, Sentinel Levitar. Okay, while in the same zone as a Vitar orb you control, this creature has the unmovable and anchor traits and gains armor plus two and melee plus one trait while guarding. Um, okay, you can set this as a trap for two mana and then you can flip it up for three mana. Um, quick cast, quick cast enchantment. Well, I mean, quick action enchantment, something like that. And then um, it has a range of zero to two, zero to two spaces away from your mage. And then it's one to include in a nature deck. One, two, two of those. Vitar, four century. Uh, two to lay it down as a trap, three to reveal it, zero to two range again, one to put it in this type. Vitar protection, force, maybe that's force. Yeah, something like that. Uh, once per round, before or after a friendly creature's action phase, you may push the target enemy creature within one zone. One zone away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't push a creature through a wall with the passage attacks trait. Use a ready marker to keep track of this ability. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. I guess enough for two people to play with. Um, or more. Vitar suppression, six mana costs, quick speed, zero to zero in the arena, incantation, Vitar curse. Two in that kind of spell book. Epic. During the next upkeep phase, Vitar orbs don't function, they don't generate Vitar, and they don't provide mana or healing okay so you can set down the opponent i guess one two two of those cascading force wave three mana one range force target creature is pushed one zone in the direction of your choice if that creature is pushed to a new zone you may pay three mana to push a different creature in that zone one zone in any direction and repeat this process a creature can't be affected by cascading force wave more than once in the same casting creatures can't be pushed through walls with the passage attack straight two three four four those batarian healing song five mana uh two range zero to two range target must be in a zone with the vitar orb you control Heal target creature in the amount rolled on two attack dice and add an additional two, two, two attack dice to this roll for each Vitar Orb you control. Okay. Yeah, so the name of the game is to get them Vitar Orbs. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Bolt of Vitar. Eight drop. Zero to two range. Creature of Conjuration. Vitar Lightning. Um... Some kind of lightning effect, range attack, rolling three dice, um, D12, I forget what that is. Oh, oh yeah, like, you know, most of the dice are those red D6s, but this yellow is, I guess it's a D12 dice. A Detroit Wood, Detroit Wood. Uh, six to seven days, 
if you roll a six to a seven, you daze the opponent. If you um, or you daze yourself. Some no no no, you daze the opponent, and then A plus you stun the opponent. Ethereal. Uh, this attack gains the mana drain plus X and piercing plus X traits. X is the number of Atar orbs you control. One, two, three, four. Dragon's Breath. 12 drop. Zero to three range. And that's got to take a full action, full turn action. Cost three to put in your spell book if you're this guy. Yeah, if you're that faction. Um, range attack probably does burn. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that sign. Yeah, right there. Um, four dice you're rolling. And uh, D, roll the D12, 3 to 9 on there, you burn it. 10 plus, you do 2 burn. And defrost, whatever the defrost means. At the end of the attack, as part of the same attack action, Dragon's Breath may attack a second target similar to a sweeping attack. The, the second target must be in an adjacent zone, one zone further away than the first target. Both targets must be within range. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4... Hurl Meteorite, uh, 12 drop, takes a full turn action, 0 to 3 range, creature or conjuration, you can attack I guess. And then uh, for that Sand Golem faction, it'll be 3 to put in the spell book. Uh, range, 9 dice, that's hella dice. And then on that yellow dice, you hit a 5 through 8, 2 days the opponent, 9 plus you stun it. One, two, three, four, four of those. Batarian Energy Wave, 12 drop. Full turn action, zero to two range, two adjacent zones, three in that spell book. Uh, range, you hit all the squares around you, spaces around you, and unavoidable and ethereal. This attack rolls one extra, di one extra attack die for each Vitar orb you control. It also affects any wall between the two targeted zones. Yeah, um, my partner, I play this one with Cody. He loves to put up them walls. I'd love to hit him with a Batarian energy wave, knock down all those walls. All right, Sandstorm, eight, and a full turn action, zero to two zone, one on whatever that is, one on that faction. Um, range, hit everything around, hit every square around it. Uh, whatever that sign, whatever that symbol is, two dice, the yellow attack, the yellow dice, four to six push, seven to nine days, ten plus push and days, piercing plus one, plus two versus flying and unavoidable. If pushed, roll for random direction. One, two, three, four. Windstorm, four drop, full turn action. Uh, full turn attack. Yeah, I mean full turn action, yeah. Zero to one range, creature or conjuration, attack, wind. Okay. Uh, range, wind, two attack dice, and again with the D12 dice. Six plus equals push. Sweeping, unavoidable, plus two versus flying, and ethereal. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. And it's been 23 minutes.